Bhagavad Gita, text 4.40 Those who are ignorant, faithless or doubting are lost. There is neither happiness nor success in this world or the next for the doubting soul. The disciple should have faith in the scripture and the guru's explanation of it. Those who question whether knowledge will ever fructify in themselves and are thus doubtful will never be successful. They lack faith in the inconceivable power of God and remain preoccupied with their own shortcomings. Other than the doubtful, Krishna mentions the ignorant, agyaha, and faithless, ashradha naha ha. These two persons are in one sense better off than the doubtful, for at least they enjoy the bliss of their ignorance and happiness in this world. Those without faith in the next world find some happiness in the here and now. Those who doubt that they will be successful on the spiritual path, yet believe in it, cannot find happiness in this world, nor will they attain the next. They cannot find happiness in this world because they know from scripture that there is no enduring happiness here and they lack the self-confidence necessary for happiness and success in general. Vishwanath Chakavarti argues that the three persons mentioned in this verse are in a hierarchical order beginning with the lowest ignorant Agyaha, to the faithless, Ashradha, Hanaha, to the doubtful, Samshayatma. In the last two verses of this chapter, Krishna introduces chapter 5 by imploring Arjuna to realize the fruit of Karma Yoga through diligent execution and thereby qualify himself for renunciation. <laughs> 